Is there progress in the brain initiative? Is this investment, the public investment, yielding important new insights? Well, so far it has actually developed, it, it's resulted in the development of a full brain scale activity map of what goes on in the brain as we do various things, seeing into the brain and for being able to manipulate the activities of the brain and to, in a sense, mimic them and maybe supply them artificially. This is what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, in the United States of America today. This is why you are receiving voice to skull transmissions. This is why you are being attacked with microwave and frequency weapons. You are unfortunately being used by the national security state, the military industrial intelligence complex of this country for the purposes of researching and developing highly sophisticated state-of-the-art technology that is primarily concerned with the human mind and how it operates, how to hack it, and how to harness its computing power to inform AI technology in the future and inform the computer systems of our military, military intelligence, and major corporations in this country. This initiative is asking the question, how do I record from 100,000 neurons? Or, or even more. Or even more, and understand something about their firing pattern relative to what they're doing, what the behavior might be. And the fact that they're going to test wireless, fully implantable neuro, neural interface medical devices, that they can do, you know, it's important that they do this wirelessly. And it's also important that they don't actually have to put you through surgery. That might be a bit of a tip-off. We can do a full uh, brain-machine interface. Combining man and machine with a new technology dubbed Neuralink, which would allow data to be transmitted between humans and computers. The satellite ended up having the same capability. If you're not familiar with Starlink, Starlink is a satellite network that is planned by SpaceX and approved by the FCC. It will be a network of initially up to 12,000 satellites, each with 20 gigabits per second of bandwidth, up to a potential of 42,000 so far satellites planned in two orbital shells traveling around the Earth and giving essentially full-time access to anyone anywhere on the Earth. That's like the purpose of Neuralink, is to create a high bandwidth interface to the brain such that we can be symbiotic with AI. Because we have a bandwidth problem. You just can't communicate through your fingers, it's too slow. And where's Neuralink at right now? I think we'll have something interesting to announce in a few months. That's at least an order of magnitude better than anything else. Probably, I think better than probably anyone thinks is possible. How much can you talk about that right now? I don't want to jump the gun on that. The latest technology called bio-coded directed energy. And what bio-coded directed energy is, is they will get a sample of an individual's DNA and then they take it to the supercomputers. You know, they, the NSA has supercomputers now that they put in Bluffdale in Utah. One million square feet of supercomputers. So it's processing everything. All the phone calls, all, the, uh, all your browsing, all cell, your tech... Cell networks. calls, everything's going. Everything just goes into, into these monster hard drives. And that, that way they can go back at any point and, uh, and, and ask the intelligence of these machines to come up with diagrams of people that communicated or the actual dialogues, it's, you know, it's amazing. So anyway, this technology, bio-coded directed energy, all they have to do is go to your garbage that you put on uh, out on the street, whatever your garbage day is, and take that garbage, and in that garbage, they will get your DNA. Once they have your DNA, they can bio-code the DNA so that uh, it's it's integrated into a algorithm and then this algorithm can be transmitted from cell towers it can be transmitted from aircraft it can be transmitted from satellites just like a cell phone in the sense that when the code proper code comes through the, through the, the, the network and your cell phone as an example sees that code it comes alive transmits back to the cell tower I'm over here and then the cell tower pu puts the call through not that different a technology, buddy. Instead of this, instead of calling a phone instrument, you're actually calling the bioresonance of an individual. Of the person. My God. So that three people can be standing right next to you and nobody's going to feel the harassment except you because these signals are biocoded to your body's tuning only.
and mm. then they can send down V2K, they can send down any, any symptom they want because they're in full control of the bioresonance of your bioenergy. So this is all done by, by this DNA. There's a new field of research. They realized that the base pairs can be mounted into a chain in a way that functions like a computer, like a logical element. And this is some, if you visualize this, it's like, like the old method with telephones, uh, when you were dialing with sound. Um, every bass pair has a, own, ha has a resonance frequency, it's somewhere in the terahertz range. And if you hit the right frequency, it is opening, like a conducti conducting, uh, light conducting unit. Um, and if you have a chain of these base pairs that react on different frequencies, you need a, um, a sequence of sounds to open all the fragments to make the entire thing conducted. So it goes like do 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 do, and then the next part of the genetic thing is activated to either produce light or to produce poison. And this is something beautiful. Uh, out of their view of the world, because if you bring this RNA or DNA into the human body, you can kind of take a radio signal and activate it from outside to produce any substance you want or to produce any light you want. Light is emotion, light is thought, light is everything. Everything we sense as experience. As an insider with detailed information of this entire fucking program and how it works from top to bottom, I am privy to uh, some details that most are not. And that is that the true way that this technology works is that a complete DNA profile is obtained from the target. And then this information, the DNA of the individual, is used to determine the resonant frequency of the DNA itself. The resonant frequency is then used to fine tune the technology the radio frequency signals, the microwave auditory effect, and all of the other aspects of the technology to tune it perfectly to the resonant frequency of the targeted individual's DNA. This is one of the reasons why many targeted individuals believe that there are nano technology, nanobots inside of their body. Smart dust, things of this nature, nanofibers that completely fill the target's body. And based on some of the scientific papers that I've seen written on this, this is possible and it is going on. Uh, but it is a lower form of the technology. It is a less advanced form of the technology. The true holy grail in terms of this technology is DNA resonant frequency. It taps right into the DNA and it does it remotely by resonating with the exact frequency that your DNA resonates. Because all matter in the universe resonates. All matter is animated by sound. Matter itself is enabled by sound. And so the resonant frequency of the DNA is what they use to fine tune the technology to take total control of your entire body, spirit, soul, being, and mind. It's total not only mind control, it's total human being control. And it is the essential element that allows them to manipulate your emotions so totally and completely, to manipulate your thoughts so totally and completely, to manipulate everything you do and see and hear and think and feel every single minute of every single day so totally and completely. It's horrible, it's horrifying, and it is a crime against humanity. This is something that needs to be dealt with in the Geneva Convention. This is something that needs to be dealt with in international courts. This is something that needs to be dealt with first and foremost by the Supreme Court of the United States. This is something that needs to be dealt with until we get to that point at the local and the state level. This is something that needs to be tackled by lawyers and civil rights advocates immediately. We need laws right fucking now to stop this thing because it is out of control and it is only getting worse. The entire population of the United States of America could conceivably be controlled by this one day. 
And I know for a fact, having been an insider and actually been a part of this program and seen it operate on a day-to-day basis, I am aware that there are now entire cities in America that are nothing more but a massive social engineering experiment. 